Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a baseball bat. So grab your pencils and let's get drawing. The very first thing that you want to do is just grab your pencil and draw the outline of the shape of the bat. And in this case, we're going to actually draw it going this way. So that's kind of the rough outline. Of course, we're gonna fix this up um, quite a bit, but it's really tough to kind of get that first um, thickness of the bat. The, the base over here is, is thin, obviously. You have to grab the baseball bat at this end, and the base, uh, the outer part over here gets a lot thicker. The question is, um, how thick does it get? It really depends on the bat you're drawing. In this, in this video, we'll draw like a classic wooden baseball bat that's used in like, um, American Major League Baseball, but there's certainly other types of bats like softball bats or aluminum bats that can be used. But in this video, I'm, I'm going to draw the um, a wood baseball bat. I'll actually draw some wood grains on there as well. Okay. What can I tell you about baseball bats or baseball in general? Let me tell you about baseball. Um, the first thing about baseball is that the game, the games with wood sticks and, and balls have actually gone back as far as um, the 14th century, but the first officially recorded game of baseball was in 1749, and that took, took place in England. So that was the very first uh, recorded baseball game that took place. Uh, following the popularity of that game, um, the game actually gained a lot of traction in New York City in the 1850s and kind of became a main stake and a, and a very popular game in in the Americas following that. So just a little bit of a history lesson for you right there. I find it really tough to get the drawing of the baseball bat so precise because you can be off by, you know, a tenth of a millimeter and the, the bat really starts to look lopsided. So um, you can see I'm really trying to just touch up the exact, um, you know, lineage of this and just just get this looking sharp you can grab your ruler it's tough though because sometimes with the ruler um, you need to bring the lines in so it does sometimes create more problems than it helps but you can you can like shift your ruler like that and just kind of help bring in your lines over there okay I think the thing that's throwing me off over here is some of the curvature at the top there's not an extreme curvature the curvature is actually very narrow so it's more like a nub versus a round uh, head of the bat okay so you kind of want to get something like that going The longest baseball game that was ever played was actually um, 26 innings. So at most um, baseball games are about nine innings, unless it, it goes into extra innings or unless um, uh, that game ends short for whatever reason. It, it may end short for various reasons, but um, the longest game ever played was actually uh, 26 innings, which is almost three times the uh, the average length of an average game so very very tiring game <laughs> if my memory corrects me I don't think that was that long ago but I, I don't recall just off the top of my head when you draw a wooden bat you, you do have these kind of because um, this is made from a real tree so you're gonna have these lines that exist just like in real life where when you cut a piece of wood apart, you're going to have these lines. So that's what I'm drawing over here. And all I'm really just drawing are these, these shapes that look like uh, a cross section of a piece of wood, right? That's it. That's all I'm really drawing over here. That one's a little too wide. I'm going to fix that up.
the pattern exists more at the uh, barrel of the bat and down towards the, the base over here, you don't typically have that pattern um, continuing down so much. Um, I guess it's just because the thickness of the, the wood up there makes for uh, more patterns to be shown. Just gonna clean up the thickness of this bat as well. It's, it's looking just a little too thick for my liking and I wanna bring this in just ever so slightly, just ever, ever so slightly. I think you'll see it actually will look a lot better as well. Like I said, it's actually the toughest part about drawing a bat freehand is getting that thickness of the bat looking really sharp. I think we're actually gonna extend this down just a little bit as well. I'm actually just gonna continue this down and then draw the, uh, the end plate. That, that little piece at the end actually helps keep, when the player's holding the bat, it helps keep them um, gripping the bat nicely. So that's what that piece is at the bottom. In Major League Baseball, there's actually rules about how big or how wide or how long your bat can be. So there's actually quite a bit of rules that go around with uh, having a bat. Um, if I remember correctly, there's also some stories where um, Major League Baseball players would actually cork their bat. Um, it would actually make the bat a lot lighter and uh, they would be able to hit a lot more home runs as a result or hit the ball farther as a result and with less strength. Um, I think there was a, a famous story around some baseball players in which they would cork their bats and if they were caught, you know, they get disgraced, but if they weren't caught, they would kind of be the hero in terms of hitting all these home runs. So um, check it out, corked bats, and kind of see what happened in the past with Major League Baseball. Of course, I'm talking about, you know, in like the North American Major League Baseball um, stories as well. Um, So when you add this, um, the shading and the smudging like that, it really helps bring all of that lead from the pencil together, but it also goes off the bat. And that's the toughest part about deciding to use that smudge technique. So you might need to just grab your eraser and just clean that up just a tiny little bit. What also happens is sometimes, you know, those wood grain patterns that we kind of put on there, they sometimes disappear. Um, if they do that, you could always just go back and just kind of clean them up. Um, in fact, it's always a good idea to clean them up just because um, on a real bat, they're very visible. They're actually very, very visible. Um, so don't be afraid to go back and just add some of this back on. It actually will make the bat look very realistic. Okay. Just like that it's um it's kind of this long shape that goes like that and then kind of comes down and back up and back over here So I actually just used that ruler technique that I described earlier. And if you can move that ruler in, in the right way, it helps you really create some straight lines on this bat. So it's all about just moving the ruler in the right way. And if you can do that, you'll see that it, it actually looks quite well. I think over here we're just we're just a little bit off over here and I'm gonna erase and just kind of re reestablish some some lines that are over here So 
So as you finish up your drawing, what you want to do is just make sure that um, things look okay. Make sure that your bat is to your liking. Um, in terms of what I see, I feel like this is just a little bit too thin. I know that over here I said it was too thick and over here I think it's too thin. So I actually want to bring this back out just a little bit over here. So I'm liking, I'm liking that a lot more. I actually used to play baseball as a kid. I was between 10 and 12 years old. As a kid, I used to play just in a community league, but uh, I was good. I was good. I would actually do quite well. And I think a lot of the other players, even though I was a kid, um, they would know when I would come up to bat to kind of back up and move back just a bit. It was kind of funny. Um, I didn't pursue it. I didn't really continue playing in any advanced leagues or anything, but I always remember as a kid, I would, I would love playing and I would actually do quite well. Um, so I don't know, do you play? Do you play baseball? If you do play, do you use a wooden bat? Do you use any other types of bats? Um, I'd be really curious to know that as well. That's pretty much it. I'm really liking how this is how this has come together. This is a wood baseball bat. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.